What do you think, all? Amazing, right? Amazing. <laughs> yeah! Longest cover bridge in the world. I'm gonna guess first Pan America to do it. Yeah. First Pan America to do the shortest and longest in one day. northbound trip um, I stayed uh, at in New Brunswick last night um, it's supposed to rain so I changed out all my uh, gear to rain gear I got one stop to make I'm going back to the uh, Toys for Big Boys Harley Davidson dealership I'm gonna buy some rain gloves that's the one thing I did not bring so I'm gonna buy some rain gloves it's supposed to rain a lot I don't know how beautiful it's gonna be but uh, we're gonna head back to uh, Caribou, Maine. I gotta go to the uh, Plow and Plow Harley Davidson there to pick up my knife and bear spray, and then we're gonna head back on the road. So I got quite a bit of highway driving today. I'll try to make it uh, as nice as possible. I don't know what we'll find out. Um, we got a lot for moose and runaway. All right, MCC crew. I am in Moncton. Oh, I can't get the draw. Moncton, uh, New Brunswick. And I'm going back to the big boys to see the weather today. It's kind of crappy, super overcast, and it's going to pour down rain. Again, the whole reason I'm here is to get gloves that are waterproof. Because these ones are not. And it's not conducive to have wet hands or gloves out. Just saying. So the rain has started. Again, I stopped by Toys for Big Boys and they did not have any waterproof gloves. So I bought some. Some really kind of dirt bikey and drill gloves, minimum protection. They're gonna get soaked and I'm definitely gonna get wet hands. At least it's gonna give me something to hang on to. And I um, I won't ruin my good leather gloves. Yeah. yeah, that just might be the way it goes. Okay, I'm doing it. It's still early enough that uh, I'm going to go to Tim Hortons. I have been to Tim Hortons before, it's been so long ago. I can't remember. It's like Starbucks, Canada, and North, uh, North Northern States. Um, but it's a pretty big Canadian uh, staple. So let's go get some coffee at Tim Hortons. Maybe they'll look something, right? <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm at Tim Hortons. I got a small coffee and a maple pecan donut. Um, let's go for the coffee first. At first, Tim Hortons. Get a picture of that, maybe. All right. Aaron loves looking at my bike, I can tell you. All right, so what do I think of the coffee? Well, my sock's gonna be blown off. Okay, medium roast. Um, Pretty, uh, pretty, pretty mild, pretty bland. Very hot. There's a little buttery flavor. It's not as dark as Starbucks or D Dunkin' Donuts. Not as bitter. Um, it's really mild. I'm gonna wait till it cools down a little, but just that's my initial thought. This, the note, the smell note I'm getting is. I don't want to say soapy, but it's just, oh, it's my hands. Okay, all right. <laughs> it's 
hard to even tell. I'm gonna wait till it cools down and see if I can get a better note. Let's try the donut. That looks pretty decent. Like being filled. Kind of similar to Duncan maple. Pretty good. Okay, now that it's cooled off, I got a little more flavor. Almost a tomatoey. That's it. I'm gonna get a give tomatoey, like slight tomatoey, like beef steak tomato undertones with with a wooden popsicle stick aftertaste. A little bit of brightness. There you go, but it pairs well with everything. It's really like, light and easy to drink. So that was my Tim Hortons experience. Would I get it over? <laughs> um, would I get it over Starbucks or Dunkin'? Probably yes to Dunkin', no to Starbucks. Probably not my favorite. Starbucks has a little more flavor, and not that I super enjoy it, but I would probably get it over Tim Hortons. wind is crazy, but I'm getting blown all over the road. It's it's gnarly out. It's just so windy. Oh my gosh. You know, the combination of these knobby tires and uh, the rain just don't make a great combination. You know, this looks funny. It's only a little bit of rain. But, but this wind is gnarly! <laughs> I can barely keep it on the road, it's so windy. I don't know, it's gotta be blowing 40, 45 miles per hour. It's so crazy! I don't know where I'm going. Getting lost a little bit. Whoa. Red barn. St. John's River. Look at that. Beautiful. Really the purpose of adventure touring, you know, just kind of taking the unexpected path us taking to try and get some great views, get some great sights, great experiences. It doesn't have to be completely off-road to get there. Booth. Oh, well, I didn't say moose, I said toughest. Got. Yeah. Playground. Oh, that's cool. What do you think, y'all? Uh, amazing, right? Amazing. Okay, totally got me. Said, come this way to the world's largest covered bridge. 
Well, it's Covered Bridge Potato Chip Company. <laughs> That's what it is. They do have a covered bridge right there. Hilarious. As you know, I've been getting covered bridge pictures all over the place. So I might as well stop and get a covered bridge potato chip company tour chips. All right, let's go check it out. Covered bridge potato chips, I guess. I want to try them right here. Some salt and vinegar, or yeah, salt and vinegar. Wow, look at those things. That's a big chip. A different flavor. Pretty good. Totally different flavor. Dark russet potato chips. Hmm. I'll eat a few of these. Can eat them all. Pretty full. Okay, so I'm gonna try and go to the world. They did say the world's longest covered bridge is really here. But in the meantime, let's go to the world's smallest covered bridge and ride a Harley Davidson through. What do you guys say? Think I can do it? I think I can. Let's get set up. See if I can, see if anyone says anything. I doubt it. Bridge. First all the David from Pan America going through the world's smallest cover bridge. Now let's go to the largest. Okay, let's go through the world's largest, longest cover bridge. <laughs> yeah! The longest cover bridge in the world. Whoa! Whoa! Very cool. Woohoo! I'm gonna guess first Pan America to do it. First Pan America to do the shortest and longest in one day. What do you say? All right, and I'm coming coming back out. Let's go the other way. Yeah. There we go. I'm going. All right. Train. I cannot wait back to get to the States. All right, I made it through. Here's the thing I'm really excited to do. Units. Standard. Yes. Okay, 132. Yes, all there. Oh, I guess the, uh, the tire pressure thing come back. That's okay. But I can understand everything again. I'm in the Eastern Time Zone. Woo All right. Wow, wow, the day we go. We're getting hit in the truck home. Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> Come on, please, please, please. I got them. They're okay. 
<laughs> that was lucky. Let's see, did I get that on camera? I bet I did. I got it on camera. <laughs> wow, that was lucky, huh? All right, that would have been my fourth pair of glasses. That semi rolled right by him. And... This is my campsite for the night. All right, what do we got? Right side. Whoa. Whoopsie do. Up here, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So slippery. 